What's up everyone? Unfortunately, we're in the middle of Ohio right now. However, there is a bright side to that. About 20 minutes away and an hour away, there are a couple of toy stores that I have been wanting to go to for years. They have some retired old Lego sets that I think would be cool to at least take a look at, but maybe buy if they are the right price. So we're gonna begin our journey in what looks like, I mean, this is like the beginning of the American Midwest. Everyone else has already left the hotel. It's like 9.45, this was full last night. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna be getting on our way out of here to go find some Legos. Here we are, Sir Troy's Toy Kingdom. Number one, there's three of them, but I'm going to two of them. This is the first one, hence number one. Voice over Ryan here, too nervous and awkward to talk while I was in this store, but as you can see, there is a ton of cool stuff on the shelves. So many amazing retired sets. Now, the problem, I suppose, for most people would be that these aren't retail price. These are marked up to about market value, which is fine. It's what the store should do to make the most money. Like if I was running a store, I would do the same thing. And on the other side of that, if they had left them at retail price, I would very highly bet that none of them would be on the shelves like this anyway. So actually, I just saw Grievous' Starfighter. I couldn't remember where I had seen it recently. Now I know where I saw it recently because I've been trying to collect 2022 12th Airborns from that set. And now I know where I, cause I was like, I swear I saw it on the shelf somewhere. I just couldn't remember where. $130 for that Snowspeeder is insane. 45 bucks, not too bad for that Stormtrooper Battle Pack actually. They had the Resistance Bombers, quite a few of them, but obviously none of them were Finch Jallo. I did check, I you know, did my due diligence, but of course they would have done theirs, I'm sure. They had a ton of Black Series, like so many more Black Series than I thought they would have. And I definitely didn't have all of them that they had. Uh, so I ended up, I think, getting one or two here I'll talk about in a second. But on top of just Star Wars sets, they had tons of other sets, including Lego City and Lego Minecraft, and I couldn't resist swaying back over to those Star Wars sets. And the Grievous set was actually retail price. Man, if I had come here a month later, I probably would have bought all the Grievous sets just for the clone troopers, because I really want those clone troopers, and they are really hard to find in, in any quantity right now, like including quantity of one. Uh, they had quite a few hidden side sets left because nobody liked hidden side apparently. Um, it was a cool theme, but yeah, they had a lot. And then they had so many, just so many end caps. Like I don't even think I was able to capture it all here. And then they had a ton of mini bigs, like a ton. And again, me now has a little bit of a different buying interest. I, I looked over most of these and just didn't see anything that I wanted. But as I'm doing the voiceover here, I'm kind of hoping I don't see any 212 Airborns from 2020 because I'll be kicking myself. But like some cool characters at reasonable prices here, just nothing that jumped out to me as like something I needed to buy right then and there, you know? Here you go, one time down the Lego movie aisle, so many Lego movie sets that like, they were right next to those hidden side sets. I was just next to Trolls, Lego Movie 2. It's crazy to see all these sets just kind of warming the shelves in a way. Like, I don't feel like many people are gonna be walking in the store getting those anytime soon. Like, I feel like if I went back next year, they're still gonna be there. Uh, they also had a ton of Kobe stuff. Kind of interested in maybe doing some stuff with that in the future, we'll see. Um, but yeah, Kobe mostly does like military stuff and uh, it looks pretty cool because I kind of low-key like the military. Uh, you might've just seen, I'll freeze frame it. They had their big Lego stock coming out on that day when I was there. You can see a ton of like those brown Lego boxes. I can't remember what sets were in there, but I always look at the numbers on the end. Uh, they also had a ton of superhero sets and a lot of people were really into superheroes. So I got some good footage of that. I kind of wanted to buy like the Malibu Mansion set, I think, but just ended up not. And then they had a ton of Playmobil mobile of course because all these toy stores seem to carry a ton of playmobile i really don't know who's buying playmobile especially enough to warrant as you can tell like three full aisle things or shelves or whatever of playmobile it's just a lot of it who's buying it all right so i only spent 135 dollars in there which is pretty good uh it helps that i have a lot of the things already that i need out of lego star wars otherwise i might have been tempted to buy more things however uh, i bought this black series from the mandalorian i did not have this one so that's a nice addition to the collection uh, i saw this at checkout and it was six dollars i had never seen it before and so now i own it because it looked cool and i, I honestly i don't know why but six dollars is 
Then these were an absolute steal. These are worth like 40, 50 bucks and they were selling for $13. Um, they were in the damage box section. I think what they do with most of their sets is they kind of probably update them weekly uh, with you know the latest online prices. So like it's all those retired sets that we saw in there were priced about market value if not above um and then we got the indiana jones magnets for 25 bucks i had seen these online for a while and said no i'm not gonna buy them, i'm not gonna buy them and then i saw them here and i'm like i'm buying them <laughs> and uh then i you know also check out for like six bucks a catapult bro why not a catapult and then i met my new best friend jaco who's gonna man the catapult so jaco jaco yeah jaco down there you can see that uh but yeah, he looks pretty cool and he'll go with the catapult and uh, yeah, happy, happy trip. We're going to go to the uh, next version of this store. Like I said, there are three of them in the area and I was pretty impressed with that one. Basically the, I mean, that's got to be the biggest Lego aisle I have ever seen, like bar none. We're here at the second store. It looks much bigger, but the other one was also deceivingly large. So it actually might be similarly sized. I was gonna like ride in the school bus, but I feel like I'm a little bit too big to actually sit down in there. This is honestly just such a ludicrous amount of Playmobil. I do not know who buys like this stuff. Like, ah, it's absurd. Playmobil also get in the 18 plus game, I see. But yeah, this is just literally insane. This is kind of sick, not gonna lie model railroads are what I want to do in like 20 years <laughs> like what it's so cool not gonna lie I'm tempted to start now I know better but I'm tempted oh I can build a rocket I wonder if I could attach any Legos to the rocket could work looks like probably no good damage packaging deals at this store there's only one Lego set a couple of black series nothing good the Lego section here feels just as big if not a little bit bigger than the other one. Oh my god. That is so cool. A little hidden gem up there. But yeah, they have a lot of sets here too. It goes all the way down. The glare kind of makes it so you can't really see everything. But the pricing feels about the same. Everything's about like market value. If it's retired, anything that's not retired is just retail price. So let's see 160 on the Falcon, 166 on the Porg. Like, yeah, probably not interested at that price this one i actually thought about getting at the other store for 121 which isn't too bad um i think that's over retail but not bad um you can see some sets have not gone up much in value but others of course have they don't have the snow speeder here like they had at the other store i don't think at least i didn't see it yet oh they have anakin's pot racer but yeah you can see they have a ton of sets even like still cased up there but as you can see they have an absurd amount of Lego here. Just like, you look down here, there's a ton more friends. It's not even part of the main aisle. And then Kobe, Kobe's insane. They need to sponsor some videos because I don't, I don't even know what to buy, but I would like to do some Kobe videos. Hit me up, Kobe, sponsor, sponsor a video. Anyway, um, ton more over here. Pretty sure I don't have Kid Fisto. So I'm gonna get Kid Fisto. I have made it to the convention center. It's very windy out, but it's so hot. I was gonna say it's beautiful, but it's like 95 degrees. It's terribly hot. I found this weird guy roaming the hotel. <laughs> They're all places. He says he knows where the bathroom is. No, I don't. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Callie Bricklick. I've been on that podcast. Yeah, right. Okay, bye, Ezra. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, no, you give it to him yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the pizza place, probably. Oh, Dino! Oh, what? Right, I'm a <laughs> weird dinosaur. Oh, hello. Uh, can I just get a regular cheese pizza? No, that would be it. Cheese pizza! Not for you. I meant to say Tech and Ross are here at the pizza place, but I forgot, so now I'm saying it for the vlog, <laughs> if everyone knows. Phase 2 Cody leaked, so we're going back to the hotel to uh, film a video about that. Whatever people call him. Vamos! Ho <laughs> ho!
What is up everyone? It's Wednesday at Brookwell Chicago 2022 and today we're going to be traveling around to a bunch of like third party Lego stores. I think Bricks and Minifigs mainly so pretty excited to get out there but first I really want to go to the Legoland store that's at the mall right next door. I think it's in the other direction but anyway uh yeah going to be a pretty exciting day just waiting for Sands to get back from the airport picking up Josh. Whoa now we get to go get food because Josh is finally here. Thank you. Do you accept tips? I don't have any cash. Wear, wear a tie. Oh no. There's a straw for your water bottle. Just about arriving at the Bricks and Minifigs. Uh, I stopped for a car wash, so I don't know if we'll beat everyone there, but hopefully. Their camera's pointed at the parking lot, and I'm pointing my camera at their camera. I got my car wash and still beat you. Did you actually? Yeah. Hello. There's no wind turbines. It's not a real Lego set. No. Right here. Oh my god, let me see. Do you not have that one? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. 60 bucks. Eh. These are all just a few dollars over retail, so big, big hard pass on that. It's $120 sealed. I'm gonna buy this. That's a steal. $120 is a steal. 50 bucks, this is $10 over retail. That is a scam. That's a scam. That's a steal. I really should just open my own bricks and minifigs so I can sell things for over retail. I'd make bank. I would make bank in a, with a store like this. It's absurd. Oh no. Sans is actually the first person in uh, three months to look at the Jack Stone figures here. And not question what they are. <laughs> <laughs> that too, yeah. Sans, do you like Gallimore? Uh, they had the almost the complete collection at the other one. Did they? South. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> See, this is what Lego should have available as their Beskar tiles instead of just the ingot pieces. They have the version of the OG Space Shuttle set that I don't want, and then they have the UCS X-Wing that I don't want to buy and use, and then that set which Josh described as very classic. <laughs> Wait, dude, Shy, were you looking for the Republic Fighter Tank? No, I already bought it. How much do you pay for it? Retail. Okay. Why is it here? Yeah, it's um, 50. Oh, what the? The Endor collection. The Hoth collection. Jabba's Palace collection. Jabba's only 40 bucks. That's kind of cheap. What are you buying? Um, not sure. Harris and Dula. I can't it's $40. Though. Up in price. That's wild. Yeah. I don't see any actually good figures. They're st selling these clone. These are in the fifteen dollar clone bag. They're selling them for thirty. That's that's insane. Yeah, none of these are like particularly good deals. Thrawn for one fifty. Big one. That's a lot of Obi Wan's. Hello there. If you count foil packs as sets, this is the worst set. But the actual worst set is the Wrath Car Escape. But either way, this is tough. And they want six dollars for it, which is even funnier. Oh, it's awful. Excuse me, sir, I need to check your receipt. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, just make sure we got everything correct here. Yep. Uh, you have the time machine poly bag? Yeah. Where? Somewhere in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And somewhere. you did pay for that? Yeah. Okay. I think you're good to go. Thank you. Sorry. I don't hold the door, I just check the receipts. It's the least you could have done. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone else is going to like Chicago and I really didn't want to drive to Chicago because it sounds like a pain, so I am going to the other Bricks and Minifigs now because it sounds more fun to me. So we're going to go without them. Bricks and Minifigs number two. They have this really cool custom that for Starfighter build. The Red Sox thing. I already have that sealed so I don't need it. Otherwise, they'd probably buy it, honestly. A ton more figures than the other store, it feels like. At least they're more tightly packed. I don't know if there's more or not. Are those just for the helmets or for the helmet? It's got to be just the helmet, right? A ton of astromech droids. And then... I do not have the magnet yet. I still don't have a magnet, so we'll see about a magnet. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any retired Star Wars sets sealed, so or I guess there's this, but I don't really count that. Um, they do have some of the newer stuff, like the Navy Starfighter, but really slim pickings, unfortunately. And that's 65, so I, I already have one anyway. I don't really need it, but it's there. All right, so I've got some Clone Customs, and there's actually a few that I'm pretty interested in. Um, I don't have a nice hauser, and this hauser looks really, really sharp. Phase one Cody looks super sick, plus he has like the backpack and everything. I don't have a phase one Cody. Pretty gnarly, it looks really good. And then in this one, I don't actually think I wanted anything out of this one. 
Yeah, probably not. Probably nothing in that one, but some cool figures on the list. Oh, crosshair. Yeah, the crosshair at the back is probably a, a must-have, because don't have the Imperial crosshair from LEGO, so kind of. Oh my god, record? That looks ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow, that looks really good. I'm probably gonna get this just because A, you can't find it anywhere, but B, it'll be a good prize to have for my video that I make on Friday. So not really getting it for personal use, but for the video, so it'll be a tax write-off and all that jazz. This sign is funny to me. It like, just the complete opposite vibe of the gunship. But of course it's for Luke's land speeder. Hagrid is in there, not Dumbledore. And the Star Wars section looks pretty the Star Wars section looks pretty out. Oh, I could have bought this here and saved $5. Wow. Wow, I really scammed myself. I'm an idiot. I need to get a bunch of these, but I have to get them at, like, Walmart because they'll be cheaper at Walmart. But, yeah, pretty standard section of Star Wars. Last chance for cool things at a store. Well, we're going to the convention after this, but the Lego store at the mall, Woodfield. Another LEGO store with no 501st battle packs, and another LEGO store in which I scammed myself out of the $5 from bricks and mini figs. I'm an idiot. Just hadn't seen it in stores yet. Anyway, not gonna get anything now, but I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow and buy a gunship and an at, -AT for a video and hopefully get the promo. Finally going in the convention center later than I would have liked, but uh, at last it's very bright and hot out. We're about to go play Top Golf too with the whatnot people were hosting for us, so kind of excited to do that, but hopefully people are in, in here. JB Brick Fanatic? No. See, the mixer's going on, and I don't want to socialize, so I'm not going down there. JB Brick Fanatic? No. Hello, how are you, Beast? Hello, hi. Yo, What's up? How's it going? Come on in. So I might buy all this crap from JB. He, I think, wants 20000 for it, but, you know, we're going to we're gonna wheel and deal here. I'm thinking, like, 2000 22? I have no idea what it's worth. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some math over the next few hours and uh, I'll figure out what I think is fair. My my I don't know what he what was your price currently? Seven. Seven thousand? Is that factor in inflation from when you told me like three weeks ago? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, twenty percent. Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna count this up. But this is a lot of figures. How many? Six hundred figures? Seven hundred? Eight hundred and fifty. Okay. This would be for whatnot. So this is a business transaction. Ooh, is that the Grievous Cape? Nice. That's like twenty bucks. I actually don't know. Alright, we're going up to the room that I'm supposed to host my Lego con streaming because I wanna see if I can fit. Oh yeah, I wanna see how many people are gonna fit in this room. We were told 175 by a text, but I don't know if I believe it. Seeing is believing, right, JB? Sure. <laughs> She'll say yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very wise word. I think that's the wrong way. I think it's this one. Oh, it's not locked. Okay, so this is the room that we'll be hosting the Lego Con in. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yep, all right, I'll hold it up here for you. Vibe, hold on. We got a better it's method. 30. We have like, a better method. Like nine this feet. Is 30. It goes to nine feet. But I assume there's only going to be 175 yeah, chairs. Yeah, absolute max is 253, so we could have like standing room. This is going to be sick. Oh my god. It's like 2 a.m. and I did something I've never done before. I ordered DoorDash because it's raining outside and I didn't want, I didn't want to uh, get anything or like go anywhere. That was easy enough. Got my food and. Uh, they just made it, like, not too long ago, so I don't think it's going to be soggy or anything, which is the thing I always worry about the most with something like this, but I've never ordered DoorDash for, so I think this is good. I Professional mean, disc golfer. Height, yeah. He says he can do 150 feet with pad lids. That's the goal, yeah. I think 45 max. Way more than 45. You Micah, know how far... How far is 45? Mike is a professional disc golfer. You guys see this guy. <laughs> I, well, but, these aren't discs, nor are they golf. Work. Oh, no, no, we're throwing things. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it rolled by me. Oh, no good. Not past the table. <laughs> so instead of uh, printing my name in this, they printed CNC Lego Factory, which isn't even a thing. I Googled it. Oh, no, they're also here. Who... Oh, they must have done it twice um, on accident, but that's very convenient that it was an accident seems awfully that affects that's, me. That seems awfully convenient. Right? Ooh. You are number one target. Everything revolves around we're, you. We're, obviously, I mean, I'm making the video here. Okay, it's not in here. This is my vlog. <laughs> M&R vlogs. 
It's fine. This is my turn. It's a, is that a sand crawler? Hey, the, the thing's coming off. The thing's coming off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, how do you stop it? It's a failure. Just, That's a red just pu pull the battery out. Hit the red button. <laughs> Does he have a little this is getting out of hand. Is now there are two of them. <laughs> there are always two. It's N no more, no less. <laughs> to duck and run.